Hi there, and welcome back to this series of videos where we're exploring now uh, WSL and also now uh, how to install uh, open phone under WSL. So what I want to talk about this in this video, it is about graphical application. We just show that, for instance, we I installed Jetty, and you can run those small applications with no problem. No? So go there and you have it and many applications. Also, you can install larger applications like Padaview, okay, that require resources. So for instance, you want to install Padaview is straightforward. No, remember just in this case, OpenSUSE, you use zipper to manage everything, install, and then just Padaview, okay, it will ask you the password. <clears throat> it will do, we'll look for the repositories there. And I already have it installed, there is no problem, but as you <clears throat> do install a new one, it will go through uh, and install everything. So one thing that sometimes newer, we become a uh, new uh, new people using open source or Linux system doesn't know how, how to install this application or the applications that they have available. So you can look for help in zipper also using zipper you can list all the applications but what i like to do is that i also have a, a virtual machine so the difference between windows subsistence linux for linux and the virtual machine are the resources the virtual uh, machine uh is sharing resources or taking out resources from your computer so Usually you need to have a good computer with uh, with a virtual machine. In my case, I, I have six cores, so I, I have four cores dedicated to the virtual machine and the other two for for Windows, so it's the same for, for memory. Instead, using WSL, everything is shared, shared with no problems, okay? So in theory, you get better performance. When I talk about performance, also we're not saying that the virtual machine is 10 times as low as they are exactly the same, very close. Even if you have a Linux native application, the performance, is, it is the same. So don't, don't be uh, afraid about that. So what I want to address here is about this graphic intensive application. So I invite you to go to the documentation Microsoft and see here that you have run Linux GUI applications. Okay, the most important thing that this works out of the box is you have version two, WSL2, is you have an older one, it's a little bit more tricky and also you need to install an X server. Now you need to install. So here you will have some, some guidelines. You can run GPU also with no problems. So it's a little bit trickier. But the thing is that, uh, just to show you about the performance that we talked about, about that in previous videos. So let me go here and first things that I want to show you also that I install in WSL the part of your version that comes with, with OpenSUSE. So see that here, this is my virtual machine and I didn't install in my virtual machine. Okay, I have it in WSL. In the virtual machine, I decided to compile it. I don't recommend you to compile in WSL because there are many missing dependencies. So you will need to look here. No, and this is what I use uh, the virtual machine when when I need to compare with WS or for look the dependencies. Just look here. So for instance, you are missing X11. See here that you have four libraries and then you just go and, and install the missing one. So for instance, let, let's say that I want to install this one so you go and the name was uh, put it here data and let's see if I don't have it well I already have it now so let me see that for instance I'm quite sure that I don't have this one okay let me go here it's T. So see that this is how you need to do and look for missing libraries. So part of you, I have to tell you that it is a hell. I, I compile it, it works, but there are many missing dependencies and it doesn't, doesn't work the effort. So see here that now <clears throat> it will that let you know, okay, these are the, you want to install this one. Also you need to install the dependencies and, and so on. Okay, so I will install this one. And that's it, very straightforward. Okay, but 
might happen that you have many missing dependencies. So my advice is just look here using if you have a Linux uh, uh, with a GUI, a Linux version with a GUI, just look for the missing li li libraries, build a everything, all those dependencies in your subsystem and then compile. But my point here is not that, okay, yeah, that was an advice. What I want to show you is the performance in uh, using Windows subsystem Linux, but all running the native applications of in, in Windows. So let's compare here because I have this installation and one of the issues that in particular with, uh, with <clears throat> let me run this one, with part of you in the virtual machine is that, and let me open the geometry, okay? So let me go here. If I go here, this is a very nice geometry. So later we're going to prepare a video. It's this one, how to set up the case. But if you apply transparency, see that everything disappears. And this is a problem with the graphic drivers in the virtual machine. So you will need to recompile, compiler, uh, the kernel, having the, the VMware driver in my case. So this is a little bit tricky to, to do. So I don't care, okay? So it's unique, I don't care if transparency is something that most of the time you need. But what is really neat about the Windows system that in Windows system, you don't have that problem, not like in the virtual machine that is you apply transparency and also many other functions. So it's tough like rendering is difficult to do or time consuming because you don't have access to all the GPU acceleration. Okay, so this was in my virtual machine. Okay, so now let's move to Windows subsystem. So here I will launch part of you. And just to show you that I will use the part of you version that comes with the system, the one that I installed. So I'll launch part of you. I will open exactly the same geometry and have in mind that I am running in Linux. Okay, so see that it's emulating everything with no problem. So if I go to constant, open here, See that you open your geometry, you have everything, you can change your phone as you want and whatever. So now let me assign transparency and see that now here transparency works. Okay, and this is really neat. This is telling you that it is accessing the GPU, everything. Okay, it's working better than it in the virtual machine. Okay, and if I add transparency and if you are testing, you will, you will realize that it's a little bit slower, the version that is, uh, working in the Windows subsystem is a little bit laggy now so that you try to move and it's lagging. But now let's open exactly the same file, but now I'm going to use part of your Windows version. Okay, so remember that you can access your, the files of your Linux installation from Windows with no problem. Okay, so let me go here. So this is now my Windows installation and let me click here to go fast and I have the geometry here and exactly the same geometry difference that now this is the Windows application accessing that file in Linux. And the only thing that you will see that is a little bit slower. You see that opening the file is a little bit slower, probably it's probably not accessing different data systems. Okay. But it's not a big deal, but you will realize when you test it, that it's much faster. Okay, and if you add transparency, see that you don't have that lagging that you were having previously in the Linux version. Okay, so let me go here and let me open. This is the Linux and see that it's a little bit slower. Okay, so it seems that in Linux, just if you want to take full advantage, also you will need to install more drivers, everything, but it works very well. Okay, so at this point, it's up to you now to choose what, what, what application to open. Most of the time in the Windows system, I use part of you, the one with Linux, but for large, large files, I have realized that probably it's better to use the one that comes with Windows. Okay. But not a big difference. Okay. The one in Windows will be a little bit slower accessing the data, but not a big deal. So at this point, it's up to you to pick up. And finally, and just to give you this advice again, please do not compile part of you. Okay. So let me go here. So is your installing an open phone or whatever, uh, application, or is you want to compile 
from scratch. Do not compile this one. It's very time consuming and you have many missing dependencies that you will need to solve, you know, using zipper. So you can take as a reference, you know, if you install in your native Linux application, look for all the dependencies for that one and install the equivalent here, but it doesn't work the time, the effort. And also just to show you that I have as well this folder Paraview. Later also would we'll share this machine, this distribution. And in this part of you, I, I downloaded uh, the latest uh, pre-compiled binary that comes with it, that that is distributed in the uh, part of you website. So let me go here, part of you or the. So as you go here, you have download. You can download pre-compiled binaries. So I installed the latest one and it works also with no problem. So let me go here. I will source here because I need to point to the library. And just to show you part of you. So if I launch part of you, see that it now it's pointing to my new binary previously. It's pointing to the binary okay, of the system. So let me launch it. Okay. And pretty much is exactly the same as the previous one. Okay, nothing changed. Uh, this is the latest one that have very cool, nice and neat additions. So also recommend you to install this one and, and compare. So the one in the system, in my case, using OpenSUSE 5.9, this is 5.10 with very nice new addition. So let's see what happens if I open. Now let me go back here and let me open here. Okay, so I open this exactly the same geometry. Okay, it's giving these measures uh, here. Okay, so see here that it's giving something. It's trying to do hardware acceleration, so it's giving this problem. So actually, the, the system library is better than this precompiled, but performance-wise, it's pretty much the same. You can add your transparency and everything, okay, and so on. So not big a deal. So this is what I wanted to show you, you know, running this graphical intensive application. So it's with any application. So you can have GIMP, Blender, uh, and whatever. It's the same issues. So as you can see, pretty much we can run everything that we need for open phone and Windows existing Linux. Right now I'm doing benchmarking to see uh, the performance, but I so far I have run even large cases, and there is some, some difference, but it's not that big, something that sh you shouldn't worry, so you can run with no problem. So I think right now I will migrate everything to this existing Linux, but also at the same time, I will keep this virtual machine. Okay, I use it for some, for some other development. I know. <laughs> do everything only in, in, in open phone. So there are some, some other applications that are more tricky to compile and I have problems here in the Windows system. But uh, from the op open phone point of view, it's perfect, it works. So I recommend you to install. Okay, very easy to use, um, very well integrated. So kudos to Microsoft for this development. So that's all. Thank you for your attention. See you next video. Bye.